job I want. Like usually. Very few times have I not been able to secure the job I want. I've applied for things that I wanted and then taken on other things uh, that I enjoy. The jobs I've had, I've always enjoyed. When I didn't, I found another job that I enjoyed that also paid the bills. But I'm a very easy to please person. Even when things don't go the way I like, I'm still easily pleased. I choose to be happy in my workplace, which makes my workplace experience happy. Get that? You choose your attitude daily. Now when you're applying for a job, I'll tell you who I hire. I want someone who's who's outgoing, who's got life to them, someone who's excited to be alive, someone who's excited to go to work and to do their job well. Not ditchy excited, like, oh, I've got oxygen, hooray. I just want someone with with life and with spark to it, you know? I don't want clones. I don't want boring people and I don't want shy people. Because we're in an environment where we got to deal with the public. Also, we're a busy environment. Now, in some workplaces, you know, being quiet and stuff like that is fine. But at the interview, you still have to come out of your shell. You still have to show the employer that he wants you. Now, going through the classifieds is fine. If there's something there you actually want. But, going through the classifieds and dropping off resumes or your CV, just at random places, is probably not going to get you the job you want. It's going to get you a job, maybe, but lots of people do that, right? So, when you go to get the job you want in your mind, you're going to get it. You're not going to apply, you're going to get it. You talk to the person who makes the decisions, or you don't talk at all. You can leave a resume, but when you talk, don't talk to some frontline person. Don't talk to somebody who is not a decision maker. Right? Make an appointment to see the person who does the hiring. Even if it's not convenient for you, that's okay. It's a job. Jobs aren't convenient. If you want convenience, retire. Right? Start your own business and you will have some convenience in your life later on. But for right now, if you're watching this and you're looking for work, convenience isn't your priority. Right? Your availability. Be sure about your availability. Because there's no point getting a job that you can't meet the requirements to keep, right? It just looks bad for you. If you're applying for a job and on your thing, your availability says anytime, you come in and waste the person's time in an interview, waste the person's money to train you, and then you can't work 60 hours a week. The, the business is open, you can only work six or seven hours, you've wasted their time and you've left a bad impression about yourself to that person. Understand that the person whose time you're taking is valuable, right? They're taking time out of their schedule to hire you, to talk to you, to get a feel for who you are. So be honest, be genuine, and respect the fact that this person is going to invest some time invest some money into training you and making you a worthwhile asset for the company because that's what the business owner wants. They want someone who is of value to the company, someone who is good for the company. If you're not that, maybe don't apply. Show up neat. Show up tidy. Don't show up wearing a t-shirt and shorts. Like seriously, 
when I go for an interview, I dress nice. Doesn't matter if I'm applying for pizza, if I'm applying to wash windows, if I'm applying for finance, whatever it is I have done, I always show up dressed in long pants and a dress shirt. Not always a tie, sometimes a tie, sometimes a suit. It depends on the situation, but always be dressed better than the person who you're applying for, to, right? Dress to impress. We live in a very casual valley, and if someone shows up looking sharp, that impresses me. And it's going to bump you up the ladder of the who gets hired game. That's all I'm leaving it with now. I'm going to do another segment. Alright, so if you want to watch, do so. It'll be after this. Probably a link to it right here. Or right here. There'll be a link somewhere. And there'll be links below. So check it out. Rate, comment, subscribe. Um, tell me what your dream job would be. Tell me what it is you want to do for a living in the comments below. And why aren't you doing it? So, comments below or a video response. Go ahead and do that. See ya.